Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Mindless Horror Podcast. Yes, number 53. 53. With our special guest, Fosto Pebbles. Fosto guys. Pebbles. Hooking it up with the amazing soundboard as always. Yes. Um, Hope he, you guys caught the live stream. Caught the live stream that we just yeah. wrapped up about five minutes ago, but yeah. uh, it happened on Saturday. Yes. Yes, and now today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, guys. Happy, Happy Wednesday. Two more days. Happy hump day. day. Two, two more days until two days away. Hollywood. <laughs> And we're all here. So if you're here, we're getting some cool feedback. That didn't it's, it didn't play because the fade is down. If you're here, welcome to the madhouse. There it is. There it, it is. is. So um, yeah, we, we apologize we, if there's any crackling in the background. We didn't fix the auto too good. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, nonetheless, we had a, we had a great live stream, guys. Yeah. The road to HHN is now officially here. Um, oh, well, it's been here. It's officially done. The it's officially road. done, yeah. We, we, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. We, yeah. we finished all of our live streams. We had a good four weeks of live streams. The first live stream we kicked off with TLAV Media, yep. which was, of course, the House of a Thousand Corpses, Ghostbusters 1. And then we started our live streams the next week, which was, of course, the first one was us. us. The second week we did our live streams was um, Creep Show, And our yep. last live stream, which was last Saturday, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yes. We had a fun time. Yeah, and if you want to see uh, some karaoke, the Knights of Karaoke, uh, make sure to just go to the Knights of Karaoke. That's yes. what it is. <laughs> That's our second channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about it, channel. it Chapter 2. It Chapter 2. We all saw it in here, Tammy. Yeah. There's going to be spoilers. So yeah, so I don't, know, I don't know if you want to stay in the room. <laughs> okay, she'll forget. <laughs> all right, so in the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to talk about Chapter 2 and uh, what everybody thought about it. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm very much looking forward to this. this is going to be a fun one because uh, we all saw it in the same theater. Me and Sammy sat next to each other and Fossil sat yeah. like two rows before. Two rows. And yeah. big announcement. Big announcement. What? My face wasn't in my shirt the entire movie. Face wasn't in the shirt because I forced him out of it. Oh, wow. I don't know how I got him to do that, but I forced <laughs> him out of it. Yeah, you told me no, and then I just didn't do it. I didn't think about doing it. And it's a three-hour movie. So three that's hours. Quite impressive. Yeah. Quite impressive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sammy uh, was a good boy this time around. <laughs> Let's see if he'll remain like that. Uh, Let's see. At HHN. Yeah, exactly. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I have to get some. Opening a beer on the podcast. On the podcast. On the podcast. It's not a live stream, but, you know, it's after the live stream. He's already a little buzzed. So why not? <laughs> five or four in. Five. five this in. is my fifth one, so. Yeah, because you had the blue moons. Yeah. yeah, these are good. Uh, I love my red apples. Yes, you do. I'm not going anywhere after this, so. That I know of. <laughs> I know I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> he said, man. Unless someone wants to bring me food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know I'm pretty hungry too. But back to the uh, back to the topic at hand. It yes. chapter two. Yeah. So before we get into it chapter two, though, what were you guys' thoughts of it chapter one? I loved it. I yeah. I seriously. I, I if you guys don't know about me, I'm not a huge fan of horror. Even though I've come to this show a lot and I support you guys, yep. but I'm not the biggest fan of horrors, uh, mainly because to me it's very cheesy. Uh, and you just offended his soul. Cheesy? Yeah, they're very cheesy. Some of them. I feel like a lot. Have of you them. seen the Insidious franchise? I didn't like the first one. As a fir- after the first one, I couldn't even get into it. That's the one you're supposed to like. <laughs> I, I've also heard like great things about like the Conjuring series. I couldn't get into. Did you watch Halloween? the second one? I saw the Kill Count for the recent one. That one looks great. It's and the fact. original one. Wait, 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 wait! You didn't answer my question. Did oh, you sorry. see Conjuring too? The Conjuring, Conjuring, Conjuring. Yes, I saw two in theaters. Sam. That movie was not like completely it. terrifying. No, well, it, no. <laughs> You're telling me that nun comes down your like in your hallway. You're not freaking out. It, it was cheesy to me. I'm sorry. It I'd does. be freaking out. I would die. I would cry. Like, movies that embrace the cheesiness, like Killer Clowns, I enjoy. 
Ghostbusters. Did you enjoy Killer Clowns? I actually? did. I, I genuinely did. Yeah. And I'm not saying that just. You excited for the maze now? Or? Yeah, I'm more excited now that I've seen it. And I feel like bringing it back to it, it embraces the cheeses. And it doesn't take itself yeah. way too serious. And that's when, to me, it pulls me out of the films in horror films. Where it's like, it's a cheesy concept, but you're way too serious about it. And it's like, eh. Definitely. Well, yeah, Pennywise isn't a serious, like... Oh, Pennywise, he, he purposely messes with you to get to your attention. Yeah, and he's nice to you. Which I like about that, that character, because uh, with, with something like a character like Pennywise, he purposely manipulates you into what you like yeah. to get you so he can kill you. Yes, because he needs and to And then eat. he'll play with your fears just well, to he make you more juice. And yeah, he likes the taste of, of fear because he said that it tastes better when everyone's feared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... But nonetheless, I, I loved it, Chapter Two, because it, it not only completed the saga of the kids now adults twenty seven years later. Yeah, yeah. But we saw a lot of just Easter eggs, like when Stephen King was in the movie. Yeah, Here. the Stanley um, cameo. Stanley the cameo. By the way, before I go any further, that was already a spoiler. But this is uh, this podcast is going to contain spoilers. For I'm it, pretty chapter sure two. it's going to be on the title, regardless. Yeah, so it, chapter two complain, spoilers. But, spoilers, know. not clickbait. Yeah, not clickbait. Yeah, no. So definitely we mean spoilers. our words. Uh, we're going to be breaking down the entire movie. What our favorite scenes was, uh, Easter eggs. Uh, some funny People. parts. We're uh, bilingual now. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, I, I I genuinely just enjoyed this movie though. It was a fun movie, and yes. it was um, it was scary, and it was funny at points too. Yeah. Uh, I love the relationship between Eddie and uh, Richie. They're just hilarious. Yeah. They're just a great like comedy duo, and I was scared that they weren't gonna be able to have the chemistry that the kids had. They yeah, and they, the they, they, they had they more. All of them did. Yeah, they had the chemistry. They they I, chose those actors perfect. Like Definitely. Marvel has perfect casting. I would say this even went above Marvel. That's Just because of agree. how perfect. I would agree. From a kid to an adult transition, no, because that was. Not only that, but the, they, the adults looked exactly like them. Definitely. For the most like, part. Like that one scene when they're at, at the pharmacy as an adult and then transition to a kid or vice versa. Oh, when they and they the lined mirror? up the eyes so perfectly. Yeah. That tripped me out so bad. I was like, yeah. how I did they pull that off? Yeah. A fun fact, too, and I heard this from my coworker. So, remember how me and you thought the entire movie were saying uh, that they probably filmed all the kids' scenes during chapter one? Yeah. All CGI? It was all CGI. The only one I was so they able didn't film? to tell. No, well, they didn't film during chapter one. They no. filmed everything during chapter two. And uh, since a lot of the kids were more already mature, more mature and, and stuff, yeah, they CGI'd puberty. all of them. Yep, and they they did they make their voices. I mean, but it looked phenomenal. It did, except for uh, what's the fat kid's name? I have him right ben. here. Ben. Ben. Yeah. I was able to tell like there was something off with his face. I still. Was the Wait, only so they just one. CGI their faces? They didn't. They had the bodies at least, right? No, because Finn Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard got taller. Yeah. He oh, got that's true. Yeah. Way taller and crazy. But uh, was- I I would have thought since they filmed the movies back to back. Yeah, I would have thought they would have done it at the same time. It would have been something like that, but but I'm pretty sure after reshoots and all this other stuff, like that's oh, true. We These need kids, to bring them back. Kids develop a lot Definitely. quicker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my beer's falling. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, no, yeah, but I was surprised when I found that out. Yeah, it was insane. Same here. And uh, I, I, I really am. Uh, like there blown are, away. They just there are job, times yeah. where CGI was like meh to. Good. I mean, a lot of were great. A lot of the Pennywise scenes were like you're like, okay, they could have done a little bit better. But I still think a lot of the the people he turned into were like really cool. Yes, the the one in Beverly's house, the naked grandma. Oh my god, that was the best. (laughs) Seeing that in the trailer, like uh, I don't know if you heard in the theater, but me and Sammy were cracking up at that point. I was too. And like we were just dying, like even when she was like walking all scary and stuff, and we were just dying when she was naked and um. No, that but best. I, I think, like, they, they really hid that in the trailer. Like, it was creepy already when hearing the old woman say, are you? But then when it got more, like... Oh, my father. It got more, def- like, you know, lower, and, like, you saw who she really was. Yeah. That was insanely creepy. Well, I mean, they definitely gave it away. No, the they didn't show her, No, though. they. I don't think they gave it away. They gave away that there was going to be a scare right coming. there. Yeah. But they didn't give away what How it was. she looked. No, yeah, no, no, I agree. I, I should have been more specific. They gave it away that... It was Pennywise. Yeah. But they didn't give it away what well, I think she that, was. I think that's what really drove me into this movie when that trailer came out, too, was, like, I was already excited for Chapter 2, but, yeah. like, when I saw that trailer, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, well, like, my entire question. But to question, be fair, that little scene doesn't compare to everything else yeah. that happened no, in a three-hour film. 
I so I'm okay with that being spoiled in the trailer. I, I was like, my question when I saw the trailer originally was like, why isn't he just kill her? Exactly. Yeah. That's a lot of anyways. <laughs> but <laughs> we, we, we kind of got that answer in the movie because he was already weak as it is. He was weak? And he was just trying to scare them so at that point he can get him at a vulnerable stage where he can just kill him. Yeah, well, no, no. I think he, his entire goal was not to get them to come back. No, no he, he wanted them to come back. No, he, no. He's been thinking about them on how they well, taste that, and Remember at the end of the movie years. when he's when they face him off in the final conversation, he goes, for 27 years I've been waiting for you guys. Yeah, but I yeah. but I think he I think he also knew that if he scared them away, he would come back even stronger. Well, and that was the thing. And he and remember the one the one kid who stayed in Derry for 27 years. Yeah, everyone was forgetting about Mike. Yeah, yeah, everyone Mike, was just yeah. forgetting about. Um, the Pennywise and Pennywise everything in general, happens. yeah. No, the Dairy in general. I yeah, because that's what happens when you grow up and you leave Dairy. You just forget it. it. Yeah, yeah, you forget it. Forget everything. It. It. Because um, even the adults are brainwashed. Yeah, then. so they. It, it took them. It, it. It wasn't until they came back that they slowly started remembering everything. Well, and I think that's what makes sense about how are they? How is this clown able to manipulate them and stuff? Manipulate that town for so long. Well, then that was yeah, the thing. Don't in, remember in in the in the book, like or even in the in the movie too. They said that that Derry has a curse. Yeah. This town has yeah. a curse. Especially since um, he's under the sewer, and the whole town's connected to the sewer. Or whatever. Yeah. So he's got he's got control of everything. Yeah. Um. And yes, and I was cool like that. There was a lot of references that I enjoyed. Um. Of course, there was the uh, if you guys caught it, and if you guys are fans of the book, I have the book over there. But um, in the book. They do mention um, the there's a turtle that's his actually yeah, our general. Oh yeah, yeah. And you see that briefly when he goes into the classroom. Yes, yeah. it's a I little turtle that. statue. Even yeah. in the first one, I think in uh, Bill's room. Yeah, there was like a little turtle. Leg yeah, or yeah. Something. So the turtle. Uh, wait, why? Wait, why doesn't the turtle fight him? Well, the turtle can actually kill him. The cur- the turtle's stronger than him. So oh wow! It's yeah, like something of the universe. Um, or something. In in like the book, they I think they were explained a little bit of the backstory but like the turtle can actually kill him and stuff and that's why Pennywise is on the run from the turtle Oh, and that's why he crash lands on earth and he hides out on earth on top of that he felt that the kids on earth uh, when they're f- when they're feared are they taste the best yeah um, and if you notice uh, and it, it was a cool little reference that they that he put into this movie but when he says I'm the eater of worlds I am the eater of worlds um, I mean Tim Curry in my opinion I think Tim Curry said it better I love the way Tim Curry said it uh, the eater of worlds. Yeah. I mean, have you have you seen the original it? Yeah. Yeah. And Tim Curry, he's so here's the way I would put it. Tim Curry's it, freaking <laughs> comedy wise and performance wise is phenomenal. Yeah. I but think Skarsgård is creepy. Skarsgård, I think he just puts that creepy tone to that character. He's yeah. creepy, even yeah. even without his it makeup on. He's kind of he's off a scary him. guy. I, I, and <laughs> if you want to see him in another great Stephen King adaptation, Castle Rock. Oh, he's in Castle Rock. He's one of the main antagonists in Castle Rock, and oh, wow. throughout the entire show, he's like this mystery character where he's just causing all these problems, oh. and you have no idea what's going on, and you find out at the end wow. what happens and. I won't say it online, but I want you to watch Castle Rock. Even if we have to sit down and watch it together. Like, yeah. it's such a freaking great show. Well, I mean, I don't have Amazon Prime, so. So we're going to have to sit down and watch yeah. it. There's a lot of stuff we got to watch. we got to watch The Shining before Dr. Sleep comes out. We do. So, I do, too. Before yes. even we go to. Uh, so we'll just. Well, that would be a non live stream thing. We'll just go and. Watch it. Watch it. In here. In here. With the new setup with the speakers. In color. In color. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I really like that. And another good reference they did in. Um, it chapter two was uh, here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Of course. Um, there's a scene where Pennywise is trying to mess with them with their fears and stuff like that, and they yeah. lock Beverly in a um, bathroom stall. Take her back. Yep. Yeah, and uh, at that point, like all her like worst nightmares are trying to break in the door and get mostly her and stuff. all the shitty people she's in her life. In yeah, her like life. her dad, Henry Bowers. You know, which by the way, oh, that scene made me so uncomfortable when he starts. Sp- Bring her with the month for fume and shit. Oh yeah, that was. Oh uh, like. But if you this, read the, the benefit of this film is it's not afraid to make you uncomfortable. Yeah, well, yeah. if you read the book too, that's how that's how Beverly's dad treated her. Yeah. Like you, you can tell he was like a kind of a child molester. Yeah. Way. Yeah. It's very uh, implied. But back to the back to the here's Johnny scene. Yeah. I would oh, really? love to be able to sit there and take it slow by second by second, 
to read all of the graffiti in that bathroom. Yeah, there might be some Easter eggs. There's tons of Easter eggs. There has to be, yeah. yeah. So when that movie comes out on Blu-ray and digital, we'll definitely pause it and look at everything and yeah. check it all out. But you know, like, here's Johnny scene when Bowers comes in and says, "Here's Johnny," like The Shining. That's one of my all-time favorite uh, movies, horror movies. That, that is, and to hear that. It, Wait, it what, what, what wins? Killer Clowns or The Shining? He said Killer one. Clowns. He said one of them. One of my uh, favorite. Not all time. One. It's in the top three at least. Oh, uh, I know. Shining probably number two. Killer Clowns number one. Then Halloween. Halloween's number three. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, but no, I I really enjoyed that scene. I, I looked at Sammy. I'm like, holy shit, they just did the Shining. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> um, uh, one of my other favorite parts too was of course the Stephen King cameo. Oh, yeah. that, that scene was great. I, I immediately looked at Sammy. I'm like, that's fucking Stephen King. Yeah, I was like, holy like, shit, that's Stephen King. I mean, he's turning around. And everyone, everyone kind of in our theater like applauded that when they saw him, yeah. too, which I thought that was pretty cool. Um, no, Stephen King is just, he's brought us some of the best horror uh, adaptations ever from the books. We're not talking about the best part of it, though, the best uh, Easter egg. Which one? Can't write an ending. Oh, oh yes. yeah. So Stephen yeah. King, if you guys don't know this, in the books, Stephen King is known for fucking over his audience <laughs> in the books uh, for writing shitty endings. And throughout the entire uh, movie, Bill's character as an adult is an author, and they're turning his movie, his books into movies, which, of course, is reminiscent to Stephen King. Yeah. Um, and throughout the whole thing, they're telling him, yeah, like, your movie's good, but your endings suck. Yeah. And even Stephen King tells Bill that, like, yeah, the ending sucked in your book. So yeah. that was a ref. Even Stephen King knows that over the years he's fucked over his fans. Of course he has. Uh, uh, you know, maybe he would have thought it was good, but over the years, as he probably read it more and heard the fans, he was like, yeah, it's, it yeah. sucks. I could have done something a little So I, I'm glad Stephen King acknowledges that. That's hilarious, in my opinion. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's funny, and I'm glad they really put that in. And I'm glad Stephen King was cool with it. Yeah. Because the, it's, you know, it's always good to make fun of yourself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a comic relief. You know, I mean, Stephen King, at the end of the day, he's one of the, uh, he'll go down in history as one of the greatest horror writers of all time. And he's got yeah, paychecks. Oh, yeah, dude. He, oh. And, like, I, I think I was reading like a couple years back, like every one of his books is in the, either in production, post production, or pre production of becoming wow. a film yeah. TV show. Oh, yeah, I mean, that shows you, a Castle Rock wasn't even a, a book of some sort. It was just based off different books from his universe. Yeah. Like, the beginning of Castle Rock takes place in Shawshank. Shawshank Redemption. That's one of his books. Uh, Castle Rock, the town though, is in all of his books. Like it's reference and stuff. Like remember when we saw Pet Cemetery? Yeah, it was in there. It was like uh, there was a sign that says Castle Rock. So uh, When we yeah. watch when we watch Creep Show, remember we saw in the in the the one with the alien with Stephen King who yeah. cameoed in it. Yeah. The freaking sign said Castle Rock, so many miles away. Oh wow. I think it said Dairy too as well. Probably did. But uh, wow. it was cool. That's yeah. Cool. So Castle Rock is an. Castle Rock and Derry are, I think that's where he actually grew up, so that's why the, they're in the... Uh, his universe. In his universe, yeah. So Because he's the, from Maine, right? Yeah, I think he is, but, you know, well, Castle Rock sense. is like in a little a little town, but, yeah, I, I, I'm always glad when he throws, like, little Easter eggs like that and stuff, um, because it makes, like, it makes the universe more open. Yeah. Um, and they did that exactly at the end, the post credit scene in Castle Rock, and I won't say what it is, because I yeah. really want you guys to watch it, <laughs> but it's such a good show. Um, and I'm so excited for season two if they're going to do what I think they're going to do. Definitely. You want to know a hint? Here's John. Here's John. <laughs> That's your hint. Uh, um, the uh, blood from the elevator. There you go. But, no, it, Chapter 2 was really good from the from the start. Um, they, they introduced us back into Dairy 27 la years later. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, we haven't uh, – it, it hasn't changed. No. Yeah. We have the bullies. We have, of course, the protagonists. We have – uh, someone who's striking the fear in these people so they taste better. Yeah. And, of course, when we first are introduced to Pennywise, it's a creepy scene. Yeah. Like... All we, blurry, nearly dying, drowning. And all you see is some eyes glowing. And yeah. then he summons the balloon. Yeah, that's just oh, that a was creepy cool. scene. That was cool. um, and that's when we are introduced to our um, uh, our heroes, the Losers Club. Yeah. Um, the Mike calls them all back. Was it Mike, right? Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Mike calls them all back, and he says, "You know, it's it's happening again. We made a bond. We made a pact. We gotta we have lived to it. Even though so, he doesn't tell them right away. Yeah, he's just like, I like how he knew like, they forgot. That's why. Exactly, he knew. Yeah, well, but I like how committed it is. Like, hey, come to Derry. No questions asked. I'll well, be I mean, at that point, they knew a little bit enough to come back to Derry. And they forgot why. They forgot why, but at that point, if you guys noticed, and this was a good little like detail to pay attention to, this is a good 
thing that the filmmaker did. If you noticed when they were all called back to Derry, they all looked at their hand. Oh, I feel like I, I feel like yeah. it may have either it may activated. have it, it may have done something, or it was one of those things where like it was kind of a pact that they remember, and like when he was called and summoned, like it triggered something. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So that was a cool detail that the filmmaker put into the movie. Like every time they, like they had a symptom of some sort. Like when Richie threw up before his comedy show. Yeah. yeah. Like that was something that was really cool. Um, but I, I, I'm really, I really liked the direction this this movie took. Um, when they each called one of the losers coming, you got to see all their lives growing up. Like yeah. Bill, he's a big time writer and a dir- and now he's making movies. So he's Stephen King of the universe. Basically, yeah, he's that was like a nod to Stephen King in a way. Yeah. yeah. Um, then we had Ben, who of course lost a ton of weight and became like a a big time architectural. Yeah. Builder he's himself. always been a builder. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a builder. So we have Beverly, who, um, as you can tell in who she married, she can't get over her past of her dad. A domestic abuse. Men. A domestic, uh, yeah, abusive men. So that was kind of a cool little nod to that because. Yeah. You know, that, that shows that she couldn't move on. Well, even with Eddie, his wife is his mom. Yeah. His wife is his mom, exactly. He even calls him mom. Which all like, oh, uh, uh. Yeah, his, <laughs> wife, his wife is his mom. So you can tell a lot of these characters, like, even 27 years later, they really haven't moved on. Yeah. Yeah, and what, isn't he like a planner of, like, possibilities or something? Yeah. Like, and like Eddie, it fits in character so well. Uh, and, I, and, and the casting, like, Stan, uh, you know, he was scared to go back. Yeah. And... That's one of the reasons why he committed suicide. But later on, it is revealed at the end what the real reason why he did it. I don't like that. Ultimately, the real reason in the book, too, was he was honestly scared to go back. Well, he knew he was terrified, and he knew that if he was there, it, it would have been made thing worse. I mean, look at yeah. Eddie. Eddie barely made it through. He imagine, Eddie, yeah. Uh, we'll get to oh, Eddie. I don't know about We'll get to Eddie in a bit. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if, if Eddie ended up in the fate he ended up, like, imagine what, how early on Stan would have done. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so they all come back to Derry, and they all go out to eat, and they all have, you know, a fun night fun eating Chinese, Chinese food. food. And uh, someone knows they're there. Then Pennywise just fucks with them in the fortune cookies. That yeah, was yeah. so funny. He lets them know about that what happens. That was cool. He lets I'm them know even what like, what's the word? Yeah. What's the sentence? So he lets yeah. them know what happens to Stan via fortune cookies. Which is such a smart move. It is, yeah, because yeah. they all put together the puzzle, and then at yeah. that point, a bunch of the fortune cookies start hatching. The baby. I was like, what the yeah. fuck is this? Yeah. That's insane. And of course, they start destroying that restaurant. The lady comes in, and then Richie's <laughs> like, can we just get the check? Yeah. <laughs> I think the funniest part, though, is when the little kid comes up to Richie, and he thinks it's like so. It's Pennywise talking to him, but it's actually just a kid being a fan yeah. of the stand-up. And then he goes, so your parents, do you want a picture? And the kid just walks away. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm good. Uh, dude, it's we're like, going to talk about that kid in a bit, too, because they yeah. did him dirty. They did him hella like, dirty. Oh, you don't recognize your fucking material? I don't write my material. I fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. <laughs> that was like so I said, funny. The uh, the chemistry between Richie and Eddie. and uh, Eddie were just hilarious. Yeah. It was yeah. just like the first movie, how they would go back and forth at each other. Yeah. And, uh, and the mom, your mom. Yeah, it was oh, just it was mom. hilarious. So yeah. Um, as we move on, Pennywise is slowly starting to get towards them. And they all decide they want to leave because they can't do it. Well, yeah, they all yeah. want to leave after dinner. Basically. That, that's when Mike kind of pulls uh, Bill aside and says, listen, this is how we can defeat Pennywise, but I need you to listen to me and trust me. So then he shows him and he kind of gets him on this like trip. Yeah. Like this trip. Indian. And he shows, yeah, it's like an Indian kind of ritual that they did. And it's a trip of some sort. And he shows them how, yeah. how to essentially try to defeat Pennywise and stuff like, like that. Like a Doctor Strange open your eyes. Yeah. And it was kind of yeah. like one of those kind of, that's what it kind of reminded me of really. Yeah. Um, and he ends up telling them how to, how they can defeat Pennywise, and he he starts to listen to Mike and believes in Mike, so he brings that to the attention of everyone. But at the same time, Beverly is starting to see shit, like she said twenty seven years ago as a kid. She saw how uh, and the deadlights. Like she saw the deadlights lights. and everything. So yeah. prior to that, when she she calls Stan's wife, and she tells him like, "Hey, you know, is everything okay?" Stan's wife says, no, he committed suicide. And at that point, as she was telling him how she did it, she, she re- it. She, she's repeating it like it was in the bathtub. Yeah. And at that point, she was like, oh, my God. Like, I yeah. know how he died. And I yeah. know how all of us are going to die. Yeah, because in the dead light, she, she does explain how everyone looks as an adult. Yeah. But she, if you kind of yeah. pay attention another detail the filmmaker put, if you kind of pay attention to her, she is kind of like 
struggling to say everything because she knows how everyone's going to die. Yeah. yeah. And she didn't want to bring that detail up, which she waits 27 years to tell some of the Losers Club, like, I saw how we're going to die. Yeah. This yeah. is how we're going to die. And, yeah, so prior or pretty much going into that, um, Bill comes back and tells him, like, Mike found a way how to kill Pennywise, and we, yeah. if we, if we do it this way, we can get rid of him for good. Basically, mm-hmm. um, at that point, uh, you know, they're still not all on board. Richie yeah. tries to leave. We get introduced back to Henry Bowers again. Yeah, I, I, that I know it happens hard. in the books. I know it happens in the TV series. I didn't like how he came back though. Um, in the TV series, it's I liked it because in the in the TV series, remember they made his hair white because he looked yeah. into the deadlights. So I wish they would have done something like that. But in the I remember in it chapter one, he fell down the well and he hit rocks. He hit going rocks down. And then uh, in it chapter two, they showed how he came out of the he well. Just, he just yeah. spit out of the sewer. Yeah, you like, saw all the other dead fire. bodies, and then you saw him, and then he goes home and. Of course, um, gets he gets arrested. His dad's yeah. co-workers are pretty much like, you scumbag. Yeah, you killed your own dad and stuff like <laughs> yeah, that. So yeah. they put him in this in a sane asylum. Yeah. And then 27 years later, the he balloon pops the, up. Yeah, yeah, and, and he's excited. He gets his calling card from Pennywise saying, "Let's, it's time. I love how he sends a body for him. That's so funny. Yeah, so he says it's one of his best friends for him. Um, 27 years ago. Yeah, he's actually, died. he's actually dead in a corpse. Yeah, uh, that was a really good scene, and he's driving for he's like a chauffeur and everything. I'm like, yeah. really? You can't drive yourself? <laughs> Wasn't that your car? Yeah, but he's like, well, I haven't driven for 27 years. Yeah, let me uh, let me send the homie. The homie will get you. <laughs> the homie gets you. So that was a that was a fun scene. Yeah, um, I enjoyed that, and the balloon was really bothering me. Was what? it was it just like an eerie moment for you, or no? I just I hate the sound of like b- touching balloons. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Um. <laughs> But yeah, Henry Bowers goes and finishes his mission, and the first time we encounter him is when he tries to kill Eddie. Right? Which is funny. Uh, and he tries to slit his throat, but I think he only... Oh, no, he tries to stab him, and he hits him in the cheek, but it doesn't do nothing to him. Like, he bleeds and stuff, but he doesn't... That, I didn't like Eddie's reaction, so I was like... Yeah, oh. Eddie's reaction was too comedic. Mm-hmm. To, to be honest, a lot of their the losers and the characters here, their reactions, they're, I didn't feel like they are fully committed. Yeah. I felt like, well, because one of the reviews I read in this movie was they tried too hard to make it more of a comedy this time around. Yeah. Which I felt for Eddie and for Richie, Richie. it was necessary. Yeah. Because yeah. in chapter one, that was their characters. They In the movie, they were just going back and forth at each other. Oh, yeah. It's just so them two, it, it was necessary. Like, and you couldn't have picked two better actors to. For comedy. Like, you had Bill Hader playing Richie. Dude, yeah. Bill Hader's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's really funny. Yeah, and then you, I, I never had seen the guy who played Richie. I, no, he's, may, he's may have been some stuff uh, prior to this, but I had never seen him, and yeah. I thought he did an amazing job. Yeah. yeah. It um, but it, it, it's just more on the line of, I I, uh, I I just think it was necessary for the comedy between them two. I yeah, think, I, I think, but I, but I agree with Foster on this one. In terms of the comedy... With his interaction with Bowers, it was kind of just yeah, like, I, I, and I agree on that too. It was unnecessary. Like yeah. I think there would it should have been more of a fear reaction in him and yeah. like a little like oh oh, but he was like I, I, I have a ho, I have a ho. like yeah yeah. If I got stabbed on my cheek, if I got like, stabbed, I'd be like what the yeah exactly. <laughs> like did you stab me? And then he has the audacity to stab him back. Like yeah, like I would have been in freaking shock, dude. Like yeah. did you just stab me? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but um, yeah, Something. there was. Selfie. Selfie over there. Tammy's on the set, by the way. Um, <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, I, that that was just kind of, that was my, one of my only problems with this movie was that scene. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. But, uh, yeah, at that point, he stabs him, and Henry Bowers, is, of course, escapes, and he goes after Richie next. Yeah. Uh, Richie takes off and sneaks out, and he goes after Richie. No, he goes after Mike. Do you after Mike? Yeah, he doesn't, yeah. he doesn't do anything with Richie. Oh, yeah, you think he's going to go after Richie because after he takes off, but he doesn't. He just yeah. goes after Mike. Yeah. Um, at this point, is it at this point that, that they all get together and they said they have to get their tokens? No, this is this was – you're already, like, before they're about to go into the house. The knee bolt? Yeah, the knee bolt. No, but they have to go solo to get all their tokens before they even do that. Yeah, yeah, but this the, – the whole stabbing Richie is, like, we're already, like, towards the end. And uh, getting the tokens like more towards the middle. No, the stabbing Richie was pretty early on. No, 
Yeah, I think so, because Harry Bowers was pretty early on. He still had to try to The keep. scene where Harry Bowers gets out and gets his knife was no, no, early no, yeah. on, but nothing happened with him until, like, the end when he sca- stabs Eddie. I thought he stabs I thought he stabs Eddie, and then it takes a while for him to get to Mike. Between that time of him trying to get to Mike. No. I, I mean, I don't remember. I, oh. You're asking the wrong person. Anyway, I know there's a scene where uh, they have to each get a token of something that's very memorable to them as yeah. kids. Yeah, um, and, that's and they gotta they... reshot the memory, which I did like. They gotta reshot the memory from the first one where they all split up. Yeah, they all go alone, and uh, even they all came together and they said, "We have to do this alone. This yeah. is how we get our tokens. Uh, we're gonna see." They they pretty much essentially say, "We're gonna see shit, but just we, be strong. We have to pull through it." Yeah, because yeah. this is exactly how we were around this time. Yeah, we had to fight them alone, and then we came back together to yeah, fight right. them. Yeah, yeah, so that's how it was. So they all relived like one of their scariest memories encountering Pennywise, which yeah. I thought was cool. Um, one thing I was a little kind of disappointed about was when they went to Richie's scene. Um, they in the that Axeman bo- was cool. No, I, the Axeman was cool, but I'm talking about as a kid. Oh, yeah. In the in the in the in the original movie and in the book, uh, when he goes into the theater, actually he encounters a Wolfman. Oh, Pennywise turns into a Wolfman. And oh. I really wish they would have included that in the new one. That's why when I looked over at you, and I was like, oh, it's going to be the Wolfman scene. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it ended up being just Bowers. Um, and another thing they, they did in this book and the movie, which I wasn't too psyched about, but I can see why they did it, was uh, they made Richie kind of closet gay. Yeah. In a yeah, way. I he totally, never comes out, though, which is weird. Yeah, he I never, totally they, missed that the first time. It's kind of like I, they mention it, and then they never mention it again. It like it didn't really have a huge payoff other than he was the most saddest when Eddie died. Yeah, because he loved Eddie, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. which is also very confusing because I thought he liked, um, what's his name's cousin Bowers's cousin. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought it was. But then yeah, he, I didn't yeah, um, see that. But it's like yeah, because and I think what really sums up the ending for that relationship between him and Eddie is when, when he goes at the bridge. Yeah, and carves. Yeah, like recarves the Eddie thing. and the uh, the Richard thing. So. Yeah. Um, that I mean, I I think what made me mad about it was the fact that it was more confusing than yeah, because I was I left the theater and I told my friend they never said what uh, Richie's secret was and he goes oh he's gay I go what yeah. and he explained to me I mean, and, and I was like oh you're right I know in the book in the original movie they never mentioned him as being gay but I think uh, it was something they just did for this movie but. I, I think what really, I mean, that part didn't make me mad. I think what made me mad more was the fact that they kind of mentioned it as him as a kid. They left it alone for the longest, and then they brought it up again uh, when he encounters Pennywise, and then they brought it up again when... How does he do it with Pennywise? I forget. Remember Pennywise is like, I know your dirty little secret. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's when I'm like, what's his dirty secret? Yeah. Did he, like, align himself with Pennywise? And then at the end, I was like... What was his dirty secret? And then until my friend explained to me. And then they mention it again when I mean they kind of nod to it again when he does the when he writes the the, the R, R plus E. Plus the, uh, but yeah, I thought I really thought he was gonna come out to them when they were all in the water. Yeah, I really wish he would have came because because I felt like it was like a, a sentimental moment and they could have done it then. I just kind of yeah. felt like it was a loose plot hole that they didn't yeah. really fill. Like they mentioned it and you kind of suspected it. Yeah. And he tried to play it off like he wasn't. Yeah. But. At the end of the day, and I it's think, not like those movies where it's like, ah, oh, we're scared to go the gay route. We're gonna hint at it because the first scene, the first scene off the bat, was, yeah, off the bat was like gay people kissing and yeah, being flamboyant and everything. So it's like, why have not have Richie be like that? Yeah, like if you're gonna bring it bring it into that character, you should have just kind of went to more detail. Wait, can we talk about how funny that joke was when she calls her hair? Uh, as, uh, Meg Ryan. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, did you see Meg Ryan in the uh, when he's in the arcade? That's hilarious. That dude. is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, but no, nonetheless, uh, I I do like each one of their uh, scenes when they go and and visit their past and get their tokens because like yeah. you get to see them as kids again and you get to see them as adults reliving some of their like cruelest memories. Uh, yeah. I have to say, hands down, uh, my two favorites, uh, Ben's. Ben and Bev's because kids, Kiss Me Fat Ghost, Blue was hilarious. Ghost Rider Beverly. <laughs> yeah, then the Beverly one was the best. Um, they, uh, I mean, they were all really good, but it was kind of hard to choose. But I think because I remembered the entire time looking at Sammy do this movie, I was like, oh, Ben, <laughs> Kiss Me Fat, fat Boy. boy. <laughs> I just kept hearing Tim Curry in my head saying that. So that was yeah. that was cool. I was disappointed with Bill's just because I was hoping he would get his hand bitten off just like Georgie. 
Yeah, that, that would have been cool. cool. Like, but, uh, all he does was grab his hands with multiple hands. I'm like, but then he gets ah. a multiple. Then he gets his other choice in. Yeah, does him dirty. So they all get their tokens, which is a, a big part of the ceremony ritual to kill Pennywise. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they all meet back, but then at that point, I think isn't isn't that when Bill runs into that little kid and he's going to the he's going to the it's fun house right after uh, the Georgie scene. Yeah. That I just mentioned where he, he reaches his hand. And he finds that kid, and the kid's like, yeah, I've been hearing this the bunch of kids in my drain and a clown. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and that kid now lives in Bill's old house. Yeah, yeah so and he's, he's like, don't go. Yeah, don't go. Stay away. You know, try your parents to get you out of this country, get you out of this freaking town. Um, yeah, so he's just telling try to just tell your parents to get you as far away from Boston, as this place as possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, at that point, right, he goes to the fair that they're having that you see in the beginning yeah. of the movie. Uh, and if you guys went to the It Chapter 2 experience in Hollywood, they had that exact same fun house there and yeah, everything. The so. games of the you shooting the balloons and it blows up and pops. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they had so. pretty much everything there. And they oh, go... Before we talk about this kid, can we talk about that girl who had the scar? Because we totally skipped through that. <sighs> the girl with the scar. The one where they're watching like a football <gasps> game. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. At the baseball game, and they go, she oh, goes under yeah. the bleachers. Yeah, because so she's she the, the firefly. She's yeah. the firefly, and she doesn't want to be at the baseball game as it is, and her mom is kind of forcing her to be there. Yeah, like, at that, supporting your brother. Yeah, at that point, like, she just, she sees this firefly, and she goes under the bleachers and finds it. At that point, uh, Pennywise takes it back to the Georgie days. Takes it back to the Georgie days, man. And, you know, he introduces himself, and the girl's like, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. And, yeah. and she almost gets away. She almost gets away, and she, you know. Until she, he starts fake crying. He starts fake crying. He goes, you know, everybody always laughs at me because I'm different and stuff. Yeah, and then, he, knew, he knew her weakness. Yeah, he knew I her weakness. To the heart. And she, she, she says, oh, yeah, people always, you know, laughing at me because, you know, my scar and stuff like that. I didn't even know that was a scar. He's like, I it, was a birth, it was actually a birthmark, to be yeah, honest. Birthmark. Um, yeah, yeah. And he goes, I have one, too. I have one, too. He goes, you know what I can do is on a count of three, I can blow it off your face. The suspense at, on that. At that point, yeah. even as a little kid, you should be like, mm, nah. Uh, nah. <laughs> nah. At the same time, what was she, like five or six? I don't care, dude. It's a scary ass clown on some Ain't dark Ain't nobody tell you don't talk to strangers. Right? It's a scary ass clown on some dark ass bleachers. That's all I got to say. Yeah. That. But it, it kind of makes sense to, to be like, look, you're, you're judging me because I look different. That's what's happening to you. So he's like really yeah. ma- master puppet master. So yeah, definitely yeah. I can see that. But and then who she gets eaten. He's ah. like one, two. He stops that too. He starts drooling. Yeah. Does his little eye thing. The girl goes, "You forgot to say three. And the minute <gasps> she said that, he eats her. Oh, I got yeah. children. I don't even think about it. That I will say this: so cool. they did not hold back on the kills. No. <laughs> Definitely. Not at all. It was like definitely one. I feel like chapter one had more kills, but this one was good. And that's what's going to bring me to the funhouse scene. Yeah. This is a good kill. So, so Bill, um, he goes back to the, uh, he goes back to the townhouse and warns them about, you know, what's going on. You know, he got his token and everything. He's talking to Beverly and everything about it. At that point, I think they have, don't they kiss at that point or something like that? They probably that was like before. Yeah, or something like that. But know, at that point, up. I know they're talking and stuff, and all of a sudden the skateboard comes rolling down the stairs. Yeah. And you're like, hey, me and Sam, I look at Sam, and I'm like, it's the little kid. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> at that point, it's the little kid. The skateboard flips over, and it has a message on it, and it says, you're going to let him die too. Yeah. And and Bill knew immediately what that meant. He's like, I got to go. Yeah, Bill's like, I got to go. And Bev's like, well, wait, let's all go with you. He goes, no, I have to go save this kid now. Yeah. So he runs down to the uh, carnival that's happening, yeah. and uh, he runs, and he finds that kid, and the kid goes into the fun house. Of, of course, course. Uh, you know, you see the swinging bags going back and forth, and I think one of them actually was reminiscent to the original Pennywise, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, so that's another like, Easter egg. I think it's the one he crashed, or the one where he crashed, and it was, like, in front yeah, of him. Yeah, there was one that was reminiscent to the original Pennywise. I caught that. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't catch that one. Um, but and he walks into what is the Hall of Mirrors. Yeah. Which is probably the worst room you want to be in, especially on an attack like that. Yeah. So he except knows, if you're John Wick, he's following. Yeah, except if you're John Wick. John Wick will fuck Pennywise up. <laughs> um, but uh, he walks through it, and I think one of the most eerie scenes of that scene was when you see Pennywise do like the grandma walk again. Yeah. Uh, which we see do him early on, but he does it as he walks by the mirror, and you're just like, 
Fuck that. This kid's screwed. Yeah. This it's kid's it. fucked. <laughs> um, but Bill being Bill, he's trying to fucking protect this kid and trying yeah, to save Yeah, he's running into mirrors. He don't care. Yeah, mirrors um, are, just, like, turning thin. He's like, I'm going in. Yeah, so he goes in, kid. and he sees the kid, but he can't reach him. He's behind a mirror. Yeah. And at that point, Pennywise comes up with the fucking tongue scene where he's licking the glass like he's hungry, yeah. which is one of the most eerie scenes ever. And it's a Funko Pop I want to get, too. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so at that point, you know, he starts banging his head on the glass. Yeah. Slowly. And then and it gets faster. Bill's just kicking. And Bill's just trying it. to do anything. Yeah, he's trying to do not even anything. Not even a scratch on that Not even a glass. scratch. And freaking, freaking Pennywise is banging his head on the freaking more and more. window. And it's getting harder and harder. And, he's, and he eventually cracks it. And at that point, you see Bill. He can't crack it. And he's just like, f- you're at that point. You're just like, this kid's fucked. Yeah. And then eventually he starts freaking just going more and more and more. And then uh, eventually I started he does, laughing at that. He oh, does like. one last freaking crack. And he breaks the window. Opens his mouth, blood, blood everywhere. everywhere on the thing. He just—it was red rust. It's like he just made this kid explode. Yeah, like that was what's the, what was insane about this part of yeah. the movie. And I, when I, I, I remember looking over at fucking Sammy, like, I can't believe they just fucking did that. Yeah, holy shit, that was as brutal as when I watched uh, Halloween 2018 and freaking Michael Myers just killed a little kid. I was like, I can't believe Michael Myers oh, just did from that. The car, yeah. yeah, I was like, did he really just do that? I've never seen that done. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that. But was, this was way brutal. Yeah, this one was way. At least, yeah, at least you know. I feel like Michael Myers has some. But like, at the same mm, time, maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, so, I don't think Michael Myers gives a shit. No, no. Well, he didn't. But he didn't that the other baby. kids. Yeah, he let he let that baby. Live, well, I mean, it's least. a different with a baby, but this kid had a gun on him. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah. this but, kid was like but, ready to kill someone. But yeah. this, for, since chapter one, the whole Georgie getting his hand been crawling of like. Oh, they're not scared to injure kids in this one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they're going for it. They really went for they it. They really went for one. it twice, dude, when they killed yeah. that little girl and then when he killed yes. the, the little boy. Um, but, yeah, that, that was a, a good scene. And at that point, Bill's, like, fucking fired up. Bill's like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Yeah, he's like, I'm yeah. going alone. I brought you into this, but I'm going to do it myself. And, Sammy, where does he go? He goes home. Back to old Kneebolt Street. Yeah. yeah. At the Kneebolt house, which was the, of course, first um, – Experience that they did last year that was a which would have been terrifying to walk through. Uh, <laughs> if he was a whore made here, you walk oh. through it, yeah. Oh, it was terrifying. So... Um, they go back to Nebel, and of course, you know, Bill goes there by himself. He's riding his bike, yeah, that he bought back from <laughs> Stephen three hundred dollars from Stephen King because he can afford it, yeah. You know, he can afford it. Stephen King says, Yeah, you can afford it. You're an author. Oh, Stephen King, you got you got some uh, words you want to be saying about authors, huh? <laughs> well, I feel like that's an experience he's probably had and was like, he's Oh, it's funny, yeah, yeah. So, um yeah, he, he's got his bike back from when he was a kid. And uh, they go back to Nebel, and all the losers follow him. He goes, no, I can't let you guys go in. This is I started all of this yeah. with Georgie. I got to finish this. And uh, that's when... <laughs> That's when they had that funny moment. He goes, "He remember? I mean, remember what freaking Rich or Richie said?" He what goes, did you say? Oh. <laughs> he said like a couple of things. He goes, "Let's fuck this clown up. Let's fuck this clown up." Yeah. And they all go in, and uh, they have some eerie moments. Um, they, they they get split up three in groups of three. So like three go in one room and get split up, and three go in the other room and get yeah. split up. Yeah. Um, at that point, you're just like, "Holy shit, what's gonna happen?" He's ready. And dude. You have, of course, a remake of the fridge scene. Yeah, the fridge scene was sick. But it was Stan this time. There yeah, you go. Stanley was his, yeah. just his head. It was. Oh Stan. no, his Stan, and then his. It was head his body, and his head just rolled out, and then his freaking head turned into a fucking spider, which was so cool. Which was spoilers for what's gonna be coming. So can you imagine if you saw that in a maze? I'd be and if it came at me, I would just kick. it. I hate spiders as it is, but for <laughs> that to come at me, and oh my god, that's annoying. Yeah. So, yeah, you see Stanley and he's like in a spider and he's attacking the Losers Club. What are Beverly and Mike and all them doing? Something uh, else happens to them, right? Ben is getting caught. Oh, yeah, Ben's right. trying to cut again. Like, Pennywise. Welcome and back the only, or whatever. Yeah, and the only way to stop that was to break that glass. Yeah. And so she does that exactly and it stops him from cutting. And then they catch up with the other and guys. And it just disappears. Yeah. And, um,. Oh, we, we forgot, like, a lot of scenes. Because there's another great scene with Richie. Not Richie. Um, Eddie. Where he goes to the pharmacy. The pharmacy scene was weird. Uh, we forgot. We completely. That was well, a we while kinda back. St- we, we, I think we just skipped his token because we touched upon all the other tokens. Yeah, but his token was, was a good token scene. Was his yeah. inhaler. It was his inhaler, but then when he goes down into the basement. Yeah, with yeah. his mom. With his mom strapped down. 
and you're wondering, is that how she really died? No. no or was that Pennywise just fucking with him? That's Pennywise fuck. Well, it's, remember, this is when he was younger. Yeah. And his mom was alive. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but that was just an insane scene. Yeah. Like, you had the you had the guy who was sick all the time, but well, I, there was something unmasked coming after the mom first. Yeah, uh, and it was like, the, save me, Richie. I yeah. can't, I can't. And um, I think this scene has a lot of importance to what's to come later on. In, well, we're going to talk about it right now in the climax of the uh, end of the movie because yeah. at that point, uh, what ends up coming after Richie was, of course, in the first movie. If you guys watched the guy who gets sick. And who has all these diseases and goes towards Richie and scares him because yeah. you know Richie's a germaphobe and he's scared he's gonna die from every little disease and because yeah, yeah, yeah. um, his mom kind of freaked him out as a kid. Um, he comes after him again and uh, as that, an adult, as an adult, yeah, and he chokes him. But at that point, Richie chokes him back and it yeah. starts getting more power over him and control over him. And at that point, I looked at Sammy and I was like, "Yeah, Pennywise is weak, dude. Yeah, yeah. he's he, weak. He's even like." Well, yeah, because I think with because of the Deary kids in the first movie, the, the Losers, the losers Club, yeah. he doesn't feed as much as he has he was supposed to. Yeah, he hasn't he, fed as much as he did because he goes through a 27-year cycle where he goes and rests and hibernates. Yeah. And every 20 years, 17 years, he comes out and tries to feed more and yeah. more. He tries to feed as much as he can so he can have another resting cycle. I'm yeah. pretty sure all the floating kids are what he feeds on through those 27 years. Yeah, definitely. And... um. And they, they they screw that up. I, yeah, I think yeah. with he had he had an opportunity to eat every one of those kids, and that would have been perfect for him. But at that point, the losers fought back, and I don't think he was used to people actually fighting back to him. Well, not just not only did they fight back, but I feel like they, they ended his they end, killing spree for a long time. And they time. ended yeah. his buffet. Well, I mean, regardless, the twenty seven year thing is a is a thing. That's yeah, no, 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 one hundred percent. I get that part. The, what I'm what I'm trying to allude at is because they fought him, it cut the the eating time. Because he could have probably gone along a little bit longer. Yeah. Even. And he had to go back into hide and go back to his cave. Yeah. Because yeah, he was, he was act, at the end of it, chapter one, he was actually like forced to go back into his cave. Yeah. Yeah. And then all those so kids came to. down yeah. from floating. So he didn't have anything to snack on for 27 years. So, yeah, yeah. I, I get what you're saying now. Um, but, yeah, that, that, that proves to, like, you that Pennywise was kind of, like, weak. Yeah. Yeah. So, also, another thing that gave it away for me uh, it's almost the end of his cycle, and he didn't have any of the floating kids. Yeah, he didn't really kill a lot he of people. He was hungry. He was starving. He yeah, he killed. I think. Well, I think that's why he eats some people at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. yeah he kills the one boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. And then he kills the two kids. That's all I remember seeing him kill in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, and I think the entire movie, he's trying to get the Losers Club to be scared. So he can try to kill them once again. Especially now that they're adults, it's like extra juicy. Yeah, and I, I think he's been holding in that revenge for 27 years. Oh, that, like, definitely. You know, you guys are the reason why I had to go into hibernating early, and I was weak as what I was, so I had to go to sleep for 27 years and come back out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at that point, the losers go down back to the underground sewer. Yes. Where his headquarters yeah. is at. And uh, uh, Pennywise HQ. <laughs> They uh, was it one of them drowns Beverly right? Like something pulls her under. Yeah, something pulls her under. Yeah, uh, the old lady. Yeah, so the entire losers club go under after. Except her. for Eddie, he's just right yeah, Eddie's there, terrified. Of, Eddie's terrified. Eddie's terrified of the water. Yeah, because he's got. I'm sorry, I'm burping a lot because of this beer. <laughs> but Eddie's terrified of the water because of the diseases and stuff like that. Yeah, and of the unknown. Yeah, and I, at that point, I thought something was going to come up and fuck with Eddie That's what himself. I thought, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, same here. I was like, oh, but he's going to turn around. And someone's going to be right there. Like, Pennywise is yeah. going to be fucking with him somehow. And that's what's going to drive him to, like, forcefully jump in the water because he, like, doesn't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that, I think that I think, I, honestly, that was a flaw of a missed scared opportunity right there, yeah. especially. Like, it could have been a close-up of Eddie, and then he, when, he, when the camera comes up, it could have been, like, Pennywise fucking with him. I, I yeah. feel like he, probably the director didn't want to do that twice since he did that with Ben in the locker. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That was a good scene. Yeah. That, was a, that was pretty good to see. That was the kiss me fat boy scene. Kiss me fat boy. He was hiding in the locker, and then when he yeah. turned around, he was like in the locker. Poster. Yeah, of the freaking <laughs> what was it? Uh, new kids on the block. Yeah. Yeah. But then he turned around, and freaking Pennywise is right there, just like staring at him, and it was all like, oh, I love, I love how Pennywise um, fakes himself as Beverly too in that scene. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. And just like, yeah. Similar, almost similar to the, uh, that was kind of a nod to the original because in the original, uh, Ben is kissing Beverly and uh, as an adult and freaking it's Pennywise and that's when that's when you hear the original saying, kiss me fat boy. <laughs> and so I thought that was a cool little nod to that. But that scene with Beverly dude when she was on fire, that was insane. Yeah. I really enjoyed that scene. It reminded me very reminiscent of Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah, Ghost Rider Bev. <laughs> yeah, Ghost Rider Bev. I was like, dude, Marvel movie right there or what? <laughs> but uh, as they go down, they go down a little bit further. They are, they enter his old, uh, what is it, wagon, right? And that's what brings them down even further to his actual lair. It's like a sewer thing, isn't it? Another like they open it up or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It had like I thought it was his, his old wagon that they just opened it up. and Probably. From like the I first mean, movie? I don't know. It I wanted to see him dance setup, again. Though. It looked like wood. I it, was. it looked like wood. That's why I figured yeah, it was like wood. Yeah, I, want, I really wanted Pennywise to dance in class. That was actually, it. and it's funny that you bring that up because remember Eddie, uh, or Richie brings that up earlier. He's like, he's going to do that dance again or something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my favorite moment of the entire first um, chapter. But remember Eddie brought, brings that up as yeah. an adult. He's like, is he doing that stupid little dance and stuff? I was like, you weren't even there for that. How do you know about I that? I love that when he's like, <laughs> Yeah, he's doing a little dance, he's mocking it. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, they go down into the lair and that's when they finally face him. Yeah. In his well, true they, form. They try to first off they try to do the ritual, ritual. of yeah. whatever the hell. They throw in their tokens. Uh Set Eddie Eddie's making funny jokes like you threw in a token? That's copper. That's gonna take forever to burn. Same thing with the rock he goes, yeah, the rock's never gonna burn, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just over here laughing like Eddie, have fucking faith, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm Dying wow. hysterical, and then the deadlights show up, and it's, yeah, the deadlights it's going into the thing. And right as Mike's about it's closing it, he the doesn't balloon. fully close it, and the balloon starts inflating. That's oh, when you know, you're dude, bugged. that's when you're like, shit, it didn't work, dude. And then uh, I was even like, wow, that easy? It, yeah, they all hide from the balloon popping, and then that's when they're like, oh, did it work? Did it work? And then Pennywise comes in, oh, Mike, did, did it work? work? <laughs> it worked, Mike, did it work? And he's taunting him about the ritual and stuff like that. Yeah. And then uh, he ends up going to uh, the uh, – he ends up fucking with them again with their fears. Yeah. And they bring back the infamous uh, scared, not scary, and very scary. That was the uh, best. Yeah. I like that. He goes, we got to go with the very scary one. We already know that's an obvious <laughs> one. And, of course, it was the kid. Where's my shoes? And she was only half a body. She goes, I guess we got to go in the not scary one then. And then they go in the not scary. The it was corgi. The, it was the dog and the, the dog. scary one. It was the no, it was the no, not, no, scary. not scary one. Because they're like, maybe it is true this time, so we'll go in the not scary. And it was the little dog right there. And then, like, yeah, they're like, like, who's a good boy? And then out of sudden, he just turns into a big monster. Um, but I think Pennywise was terrifying in this scene. Like, they, they he had yeah. to grow into, and which I'm glad they didn't turn him into a giant spider, like, fully. Yes. So it was, like, kind of one of those things where it was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But the entire time I was watching him, I was like, they really turned him into like uh, the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, like the live action. In a way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was one of those things where like, um, and I know we'll finish this up right now, but yeah, it, was, it was one of those things where uh, like if you watch the original, he was a giant spider. Yeah. And this one, yeah, he was kind of a spider, but he was also half Pennywise too, which yeah. I enjoyed. So they did justice to the original. Um, but Even though I, he looked more like a crab. They, he pretty much was it, it taunting them with all their fears, like Ben getting buried alive in the clubhouse and Beverly getting Well, yeah, because he separates each one of them at that point again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Beverly getting drowned with blood, Bill being uh, reminded about his brother, Yeah. Uh, Richie and um, uh, Richie and Eddie about going to the doors and stuff like that. Yeah. So, And then they all eventually come together and they, um, they Eddie come together hurt. and yeah, they, they finally find his weakness of about telling him we have to shrink him down to what he originally is. I think one of the, another creepy scene is when they show Richie um, and he gets hit by the deadlights and he just looks creepy. Yeah, oh, and I laughed at that part because he's mocking him and I don't know. <laughs> but he looks creepy. Yeah, he does really look creepy. creepy, but I just laughed. He's laughing, yeah. But uh, that was a that, that was nowhere. that was a funny but scary scene as well. The way yeah. he looked, and then um, <laughs> of course we had uh, after that uh, Richie was gonna or yeah Eddie was uh, Richie was gonna get killed and Eddie jumps in front of him. Yeah, Eddie gets stabbed and you're like, oh shit, dude, Eddie's gonna die. So at that point they figure out his weakness. We gotta we gotta talk down to him and make him think he's a little person. That way we yeah. can kill him. 
And that's exactly what they do. They talk down to him, telling him he's just a clown. And that's when he drops the I'm the eater of worlds and stuff I'm like that. Worlds. I'm the eater of worlds. Yeah. And then and they turn his, like, face to egg, basically. Yeah, they yeah. turn him into, like, a little baby. And that's when they get, get his heart and they crush For it. Sure, and he yeah. goes, you guys grown up so much. Like, it, it was kind of one of those sentimental moments where you see, in a way, Pennywise felt like a parent. Yeah. You know, like, he was that's like, a- you guys have grown up so much. That like I you know I used to think this was fun and now this is my this is the end of my journey. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, in a way, you kind of felt bad for Pennywise. Yeah. Because he was he was just kind of he was done. Definitely. And that was the end of him. And then everybody kind of goes off and has their happy ending. Mike yeah. finally moves away from Derry. Yeah. Uh, ben and Bev get together. Ben and Bev get on together. A uh, what is it? Richie Rock goes off boat. and does his own thing. Yeah. Uh, he finishes that carving. Bill ends up uh, living his life again, and he reads the and then he reads the the letter from Stan. Yeah. Oh, saying, and Bill also like starts rewriting. Yeah, he starts ending. rewriting his uh, his books his and stuff. And, shit. Yeah. and uh, he reads his letter from Stan, saying basically, you know, if I didn't commit suicide, you know, one, yeah, I was scared, but if I didn't do it, you guys wouldn't have came back together, and I think I would have held you guys back. Yeah. yeah. So I'm. I did what I did for the sake of the group, so you yeah. guys can be stronger together. And yeah, it was kind of a sentimental moment where you were just like, "Wow, that's that's kind of deep." That's yeah. brave. That's but uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Chapter two. I mean, I'm pretty sure we lived left out a lot of great scenes, but yeah, watch the theaters. It is a three want you guys hour movie. To go see this movie because yeah. it is a, such a yeah. good movie, and we really enjoyed it. Um, even after the show, we all sat in the lobby for a little bit and talked about it, and. Okay. Uh yeah, we wanted to get Fosto on this because Fosto saw it with us and yeah. he was all for it. He was like, "Yeah, I want to come talk about it and stuff." So, um, definitely going to be something I probably read now because I, I do have the book over there. Yeah, I want to I want to see what is different about it. Yeah, um, um, for all our viewers today um, <laughs> in the comments, uh, leave your opinions of the movie and yeah, definitely. Yeah. We want to hear what uh, you guys have to say. Big shout out to Fosto Pebbles for coming in with the uh, mixer yes. and uh, hooking it up with awesome with the live stream. It was a really fun live stream with the mixer. We had sound effects. We had yeah. our intro. We had our outro. Yeah. We had uh, the ding and the boo. Or it was a... <laughs> <laughs> I like how we all just did that right now. Yeah. Um, but definitely we're going to be investing in one of these mixers because it's, it's a beautiful piece of art. And uh, we yeah. definitely want to get you guys some better quality. We want to give you guys the best content we can. Best content yes. quality. Thank you for 600 subscribers. Yes, thank you. you guys uh, been great. Definitely, it. Definitely go subscribe to Fossil Pebbles if you like things, all things geek and nerd and theme parks all that fun stuff uh one of my favorite series he does on the channel every other month is the unboxing Uh, unboxing, yeah the marvel corpse marvel corpse so uh definitely go check that out (laughs) he goes to disney all the time too so he should be doing some uh overviews yeah yeah Yeah. going to haunts with this guy yeah he'll be at uh horror nights with us he'll probably be at nos with us too so definitely go subscribe to fosto he's he's killing it killing the game uh, with that being said, that is the end of the Miles Heart Podcast. We'd like to thank again Fosto yes, for, thanks, Fosto for, um, for having me. not only being a guest on the on the show, he was our first guest for Summer of Guests, yeah. and uh, he hooked it up with amazing equipment. So we want to thank Fosto for that. Always coming through. Always coming through. <laughs> if you he didn't got watch us, the live stream, he also brought us great gifts. Great gifts. We got the uh, Horror Trivial Pursuit. We got a couple of uh, things to hang up on the set. Um, so definitely look out for those. We have a lot to... We, 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 we have a lot to rearrange. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Improvement's uh, coming. Thank you so much for watching the Miles Hour Podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed It Chapter 2. And be sure to tune in Saturday for our HHN vlog and to announce the winners of the 500 subscriber giveaway. Yeah, make sure you enter in. And <laughs> Sunday, uh 600 subscriber giveaway video will be out. So, yeah, we will see you guys later. Bye.